Hi, Alamogordo parents. My name is Christy, and I'm here today to walk you through how to download and use the PowerSchool mobile app. So let's start with getting your phone out. Um, if you have Android or Apple, you can download the PowerSchool app with either one. Just go to your Play Store and search PowerSchool like I've done here. You'll see it comes up with a blue P for the parent mobile app. This is the one you want. So um, just go ahead and tell it get or download and install so that you can get started. Okay, once you have downloaded the app, it should come up, especially if you have an Apple phone, it'll come up and ask you if you would like to allow the app to send you notifications. I would recommend that you do allow this. Of course, you can always change this later in your settings if you decide differently, but um, this way, the app will notify you whenever there are changes within the system that you might need to be aware of. So I'm going to click allow and then you'll notice it asks me what the district code is. Alamogordo Public Schools district code is all capital letters PJFJ. So P is in Paul, J is in John, F is in Frank, and then J is in John again. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Once I'm finished typing it in, I'm just going to hit continue. And you'll see now it's coming up and recognizing that I want to get into the district Alamogordo Public Schools. And it's now going to let me um, enter my username and password. This is the same username and password that you created when you were registering your student at the beginning of the year. That's the same one that you're going to enter into the app now. So go ahead and do that. So once I've accurately entered my parent username and password, I'll see a dashboard come up like this. It's showing me my all of my child's current classes. Um, if I want to look specifically into these classes, I can simply tap one of the classes. It'll show me who the teacher is and if there are any current assignments as well as what, the, what my student's current grade is. Most everything I want to get to, I can get to from the dashboard at the bottom of the screen. Um, you'll notice that as I go into classes, I can also change the term up here at the top. I can go to quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. And so that can be really helpful, especially if you have a student in middle school or high school and their classes change from nine weeks to nine weeks or semester to semester. Um, also on the main dashboard screen, I can also change the term by just touching the uh, 2021 um, drop down right there where, where the term is, and I can change the term. If I wanna look at each class specifically and I wanna see all the grades, I can um, click classes down in the bottom menu bar. Also, if I wanna look at um, things by calendar dates, if I wanna look at assignments by calendar dates or attendance by calendar dates, I can simply go to the calendar and tap the date also, if I want to see what the daily bell schedule looks like, I can also um, tap the schedule uh, icon down below and it'll bring up the daily schedule for my child. The little more down here in the, where the three buttons are, um, I can tap my account and I can set notifications. I can decide whether or not uh, I want the app to notify me whenever there are changes in my child's attendance or if there are grade changes. So if his grade changes in a class, I can set notifications for that. I can also set um, specific notifications um, for my students. Let me just get there. Within the um, email notifications. So I can set up actual notifications to come to my email regarding assignment details, attendance details, um, also a lunch balance once we get the lunch balance um, um, communicating with our lunch program, you'll also be able to see lunch balances. At this time, we don't have that integration set up, but once it is set up, then you will be able to see those balances as well. You can also um, set to get emails for um, school announcements. And that is pretty handy. 
If I go back to my dashboard, I can also scroll down to the very bottom and there's a little section called school bulletin. And so if my school posts a bulletin or announcement, an announcement, it'll show up there as well. So um, that's the gist of what the app can do. Uh, once we have student usernames and passwords set up and communicated to students, they would also log in through this same app and be able to see their schedule and their grades as well. So I hope this was helpful for you. As always, you can notify our help desk if you have any further questions. And um, I hope that this is a great communication tool for you, especially in this time when we're not always face to face. Thanks and have a great day.